Hey everyone, welcome to my very first episode of Robin Talks Mortgages. So, or Robin Talks Mortgage, I guess. What I wanna talk about is is applying for the application. It seems like in my 23 years of experience, the people still get really confused about how to fill out the application and what information a lender or um, a mortgage company is looking for to approve you for a home loan. And what loan options can you get? Can you really do one with zero down or not? I mean, is this all just a big old like, you know, smoke and mirrors type game? And the deal is, is no. Um, you can actually get the home of your dreams and you can get financing for what you need for that home too. You just need to know how it all kind of works together. So basically when you're applying for an application or when you're doing a loan application, what we're gonna really concentrate is the last two years of where you've actually worked and where you've lived. Um, we need to know basically because it's a housing type deal, you know, we want to know like where you've been renting. Have you been paying rent on time? Um, if you're paying $1,200 over here, you should be able to pay $1,200 on a mortgage. You know, if you're, if you're paying $300 of rent and you're going to now pay $1,500, um, how is that going to shock you? Are you going to be able to handle that? You know, have you had more income that's been able to, you know, make that easier for you? Um, so we're going to look at definitely your job where you've worked for two years and if there's a gap in it meaning that like you know maybe you had to take some time off for an illness or have a baby or maybe um you know you took care of a loved one or you moved or you lost your job and you had to have a couple of months of non-employment or something you know we need to know all those details so two years really detailed history and we need to be able to verify that too so if the best you can um, if we can't verify it, you know, we may have some options, but you just need to be very clear with us so we can help get you in the right um, loan program for you. So two years of where you've lived, two years of where you've worked, even as far as the where you've lived, we want to know if you had to sleep on your mom's couch for a week and then you um, lived with your girlfriend and then you um, moved into your new home, you know, we need to know all the details for two years on work, where you've lived, and we also need to know about the collateral of the property um, and where it is. So whether it's a log home, a townhome, a condo, if it's an investment property, all of these different factors affect our ability to lend the products that you need. So we need as much of this information as we can up front. Most people these days are going online, finding a house, or they're finding some type of loan program that they think they can do, and they're making all these decisions, and the very last person they come to is is the financer and that's when everybody's hopes is all um, and expectations are met um, and so it's really on us to perform for you and what we really want to do is have you have a better experience instead of saying I'm sorry it's gonna be because um, it's a townhome or because it's a log home we're gonna need a bigger down payment or your interest rate is gonna be adjusted by that or you're gonna have to get additional insurances or there's just so many different factors so really the best situation you can do is to come to Fairway come to Robin Reed um, and I'm in Little Rock Texas um, Tennessee and Oregon I have license in those states so if I can help guide you help walk Walk you through the process of um, you know kind of what you're looking for what your needs are let us look at your documents I've been in lending for 23 years so um, definitely know um, how to put you in the best situation for you and your family but I need to know what that is for you actually you just need to have a conversation so check out my video subscribe um, and I will give you more no mortgage knowledge as um, I think of things to talk about <laughs> have a good day bye Hey everyone, welcome to my very first episode of Robin Talks Mortgage. So um, let's just jump right into it. What I wanna talk about today is um, how to actually apply for a loan and what is a lender looking for um, and you know how do we basically say yes and get you the home of your dreams and finance it the way you need it financed. And really um, the inspiration for this is I, after 23 years of mortgage experience, I still get people that are asking the same confusing questions and they just really don't understand what we do, how we do it, how it all works and um, why they get different. It's kind of like how to lose weight. You know, you're, you look at all these different people who are experts on like, you know, diet and health and stuff and it's really confusing and it's kind of the same with um, money and finance, especially mortgages. You hear all these different people telling you what you need to do and how you need to do it and it's just confusing. So this is what I'm basically going to start with is we're going to look really hard at the last two years of where you've lived and where you've worked. Um, those things just need to be able to be documented and um, if, if they can be. 
um, because that's really going to know the strength of your situation. So when you're filling out the application, even if you've lived on your mom's couch for a week in between an apartment or um, you moved out of town or something like that, we need to actually know if you've paid rent and where you've actually lived for the last two years as close as you possibly can. And we need to try to verify that if at all possible. It's not always required, but um, that's how you need to be thinking. <clears throat> then um, where you've worked, okay? That's just the stability of your income and the ability to repay your mortgage. We have to follow new rules with the TRID and all the, you know, the mortgage changes that happens. We have to, we have to basically prove that you have the ability to repay the mortgage and they're going to look at the trends of what you've been earning and are you like is it likely to continue that's really what they're going to look at so if you um are an hourly employee and you're getting you know ten dollars an hour or thirty dollars an hour and year to date you're not making that much because you might have taken some time off they might average that so um, let us help figure that out. You don't, it's not rocket science for you. Um, that's what we do. We're really good at it. We've been trained to do it. We understand. <clears throat> so when you're filling out the application, be really clear with two years of where you've lived and be really clear of two years where you've worked. And there could have been times where you've actually had to take some time off. There might have, you might have been laid off. You might have had to have a baby or, or stay home with a sick parent or something like that. <clears throat> so we understand that. And um, we just need explanation um, for when you worked and what you did. And we're going to look at, again, just does it make sense? Is it um, is it likely to continue your income? If you have income but it's not likely to continue, meaning um, things like child support, you might be court ordered to get child support, but you may not be getting it. If you're not getting it, we're not going to be able to actually use it. Um, but if you've been getting it, for the last three months, and we can document that, and you're, and it's going to continue for the next three years, meaning the child is going to be young enough to still receive it for three years from closing, then we can use that income. So there's just different things like that, but um, where you've lived, where you've worked, your income, and then we're going to look at the collateral. We really need to know what's important to you about the home loan that you're getting. If you're if the most important thing is that you buy a condo or that you buy an investment property or you buy your first house with no money out of pocket the best we can, we really just need to know what's important to you and we will guide you through the process. But trust us, give us your information. A lot of people are starting online, they find the house and they might talk to an, a realtor. There's like four gazillion realtors. Let us help you pick the ones. We know the ones that are hard workers that know how to write a contract that um, have clout in this town that know how to get stuff done. Um, so come to us, let us look at your stuff, let us get you really ready for the loan and we'll help you find a lender um, or we'll help you find a real estate agent to uh, work with you that meets your needs. So Robin Reed here with Robin Talks Mortgages. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me um, or apply. Uh, just go to loanswithrobin.com or you can go to our Fairway Now app. Go to the App Store, download Fairway Now and hit Read Robin and um, download that. I'm in Oregon. Arkansas, Texas, and Tennessee. Hope everyone's having a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.